Seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying five golden rings Four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle doves And a partridge in a pear tree Hi everyone, it's Steph and welcome to another video. This is a really cute image um, and ignore the fact that the cow has six, no five legs, <laughs> but it is such a really um, pretty colorful uh, AI generated image. I have chosen a lot of colors um, and what I like to do when there is a lot of colors together is do what I call a confetti weave and that's where every hole has a different color and each slot is a neutral color and then I use a neutral color in the weft. So the colors I've chosen are bright blue, burnt orange, a light green, mauve, red which I think is called brick, a dark green and black. And the neutral colour is the, the um, beige because I don't have much of the neutral uh, white left. The pattern I chose, I just call it the confetti pattern and I'm not really sure if there is an actual name for this. I did a similar pattern for the apron that I made not that long ago and it's just making sure that you've got colour in every hole and then um, just a neutral colour in each slot. So when you're warping this up, you do just warp it up as a one colour uh, and then the next colour. Um, so you have your neutral colour, neutral colour, and then you sort it all out in your threading. So it took me a little while to work out what I would do with the second and third towel instead of just winging it. And I did a couple of samples here, um, but mostly I just winged it for the second and third towel. I had a few challenges warping up, not with the actual weave, but with storm. So I was actually warping this up on Christmas Eve and Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day, we just had massive storms come through Brisbane. It did knock out our power on Christmas Eve. We were one of the lucky ones and we, were, we got our power back on Christmas Day. Um, unfortunately, there are quite a few homes in um, Southeast Queensland that still don't have power. So I need to be grateful, but uh, it did put me fair way behind and you can see here that I had to do a, 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 the remainder of the warping via candlelight which um, was challenging. <laughs> I'm surprised that I didn't make any mistakes but luckily I didn't. Here with the threading, I'm just showing you that um, where we've warped neutral and then colour and then neutral colour, um, I'm pulling the colour threads up and over completely out and then moving the natural across and then popping the colour in the holes. I hope that makes sense. The first towel, I just did the beige as the weft for the whole towel, and this really brings out the colour. Normally, I would do this in a natural white um, instead of the beige. However, um, I don't have enough of that to do these these towels, so I did the beige. But I actually quite like the beige. It still looks like little jewels sitting on a beige cushion, which is quite nice. I apologise for the lighting, it's a little bit uh, hit and miss, mainly because I'm using sunlight only for the first part of this towel. Um, but the second towel I chose to do black as the weft and I'm actually really surprised at the result. This one was very popular with my son. Um, he said that I was to um, <laughs> put that one away for him for later. The third towel I was really tossing up between doing the bright blue, the red or 
the light green. <clears throat> I ended up going for the light green and I'm actually really happy with it. Um, it also looks very pretty. As always, I toss the towels into my washing machine on the delicate cycle with a little bit of dish soap or dishwashing liquid just to get rid of machine oils um, from the manufacturer of the yarn. Then I lie flat to dry, give it a good iron, snip off all of my tails and then I can sew. So I zigzag the beginning and end and either side of the red separator yarn. Then I cut them all apart, roll hems twice and sew and they're done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please click the thumbs up and that helps uh, YouTube recognize that this is a video that people like. And if you feel comfortable, please subscribe so you don't miss any of the others. There are four more towels to come. Um, on that, I um, promise that I will get the next four to you um, during this week because I have a week's leave from work so uh, I will be getting stuck in and hopefully uploading a video um, every second day for this week until we get to the end of this series. Thank you everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day.